What's up, Hasfa Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. I'm Claudia, and this is a dumbbell hit workout for fat loss and strength. We're working your full body, and there are no repeats in today's session. We recommend having a few weights on hand so that you can switch up the resistance depending on the exercise. You may want to have a bench, chair, or box available, but it's not required. Now let's go. Before we get started with our HIIT workout, let's move into a warm up. Our first move is going to be a multi planar lunge. We're going to start by hinging at our hips, walking our hands out into a high plank position. Now I'm going to take my right foot, bring it up by my right hand. Let's take that right elbow and press out on that hip, opening up that groin and hip. Now take that same right arm, reach through to the left side, get that rotation. Now I'm gonna reach up to my right side and rotate, looking up at that hand. The hand's gonna go back down to the floor. My right foot's gonna go back and I'm gonna repeat the same move now on the left side. Left hand up by my left foot. Press out on that hip with that left elbow, reaching through to the right side. And now rotating up. Left hand back down to the floor. Let's go through that sequence again. So again, right foot up by that right hand. Just working through this at a pace that you feel comfortable with. Maybe spending a little extra time at any specific part of the movement that you feel particularly tight. This one warm up move is hitting countless muscle groups and body parts. That's what we like it. Very efficient move. Game is ready for today's workout. All right, placing that left hand back down and relax. All right, next up, we're going to move into a wall facing squat. Not only a great move to help with our squat mobility, but really our mobility in our whole lower body. I'm gonna face the wall here in a moment, and I'm gonna get about six to 12 inches away from the wall. The, clo or the better your mobility is, the closer to the wall you can get. So coming up to the wall, placing my hands behind my head, I'm gonna place my weight back in my hips as I squat, trying not to come in contact with that wall. Challenging yourself to see how close you can get to that wall without hitting it. Sitting all the way down. Everybody's gonna have a little bit different breaking point in this. Could be your ankle mobility, hip mobility, back, shoulders, a lot of different areas, but this is just something to work on and improve. Again, hinging at those hips and sitting down. And if you're feeling not feeling challenged, get closer to the wall. If you're feeling too challenged and you can't get even a quarter of the way down, back up a bit. Inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up, getting a full range of motion. Last one. Nice and deep. All right, excellent. Ooh. All right. Glad that one's over, <laughs> personally. <laughs> Next up, we're moving into a hamstring sweep. So let's start by placing my straight right leg out in front of me on that heel. And at the same time, I'm gonna hinge at my hips and sweep my shoulders up and over. As I hinge, reach forward, and now alternate left leg. Pressing those hips back to the wall behind me. As I hinge at my hips, feeling that stretch in my calf, hamstrings, glutes, all the way up to the upper back and shoulders. Trying to get a full range of motion 
with those shoulders and that upper body. Just a big circle and sweep. Don't turn this into a squat. No, we want to hinge at those hips. That's right. It's almost like we're trying to touch our glutes and butt to the wall behind us every time we hinge. And don't turn this into a workout either. This is a warm-up pace here. A lot of work coming. This is just preparing our bodies for it. For five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All nice right, now job. I'm officially feeling warm and ready. You ready to do this, Claudia? I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, feeling good. So today, as we mentioned in the warm up, or sorry, in the introduction, it's a no repeat workout. So it's just one set of each exercise. We're gonna go 45 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. And then that 15 second rest period, I'll be explaining to you the next exercise we're gonna do. So we are gonna keep the pace up. Keep Start, it up. Starting with a dumbbell reverse lunge with a pause. So we need two dumbbells for this one. Heavier weights, because we are using our lower body. And it's just one set. We're gonna start with our feet, shoulder width apart. I'm gonna step back till both knees are at a 90, drop them, one 1,000. Back up, that's the pause, alternating. Then left side, 45 seconds of work. Ready? Yes. And let's hit it. So down, one 1,000. Down, one 1,000. Get that full pause in every time. Don't rush that pause. This is a hit workout and we are gonna move at a good pace. But when we say to pause, we really want you to do a dead stop there at the bottom. Ideally coming up before that knee hits the floor and ideally dropping both knees to a 90 degree angle. If your knee or ankle mobility doesn't allow you to do that, do the best that you can. Woo. Adjusting your weight accordingly. Breathing through the workout, not holding our breath. Inhale down. Exhale as you drive back up. In three, two, one, and break. All right, let's give our legs a break. We're gonna work on our upper body next. We recommend a lighter weight for this next one. We're gonna do a dumbbell side raise. Starting with our dumbbells at our side, we're gonna work on our shoulders, bringing those dumbbell or those arms and dumbbells up until they're parallel to the floor and then back down. That's the whole move. 45 seconds, ready and begin. Keeping nice soft knees here. We want our pelvis directly underneath our rib cage. So nice posture, shoulders rolled back. Breathing throughout, no breath holding here. Nope. Ensuring that we're keeping that core tight and engaged throughout and that we're controlling the way down. We don't wanna just boom, allow the dumbbells to flop back down. Inhale down. We're controlling them. Exhale, just bring them up. This one's working really your whole shoulder, but specifically that medial delt. 10 more seconds. Finishing strong. I know our shoulders are feeling it too. Three, two, one, zero. All right. All right, next up we're gonna do a high plank reverse row. I'm gonna do mine from the floor. And I'm going to do mine from the bench. So just remember, the higher the implement it is that you're using, the more easy it's going to be. So. You decide what's best for you here. We just need that one dumbbell. I'm getting up into a high plank position. I'm gonna have that palm facing forward on my dumbbell, and now I'm gonna pull back from my elbow and return back down. We're gonna split our time half and half on each side. Ready and begin. Make sure you can have a wide base for your feet just yeah. to help you maintain a more stable position in this high plank position. Yeah, so we don't want our feet together like you would in a push-up, but instead a little wider base, keeping those shoulders square, pulling back from that elbow. Five, four, three, two, one. Same move, opposite side. Stay up and switch it up. No downtime here. Half Let's go. Half. Again, let that elbow lead the way. This one's working our core. Our legs just hold us up here. Our shoulder, tricep, and then that back muscle, that big lat muscle. Ten more seconds. Come on, tribe. Let's go. Push through it. In three, two, one, and break. Ha, nice work. We're going to need two dumbbells for our next one. 
we're gonna perform a narrow press plus an isometric hip up. So a nice compound exercise here. So a couple of heavier dumbbells for this one that you would use for a, a chest press. Moving to the floor. And getting your dumbbells up in a ready chest press position. I'm gonna keep my heels close to my glutes. And I'm gonna perform an isometric hip up, pressing off those heels and I'm gonna stay up the whole time. Now, palms stay together as I press, or palms stay facing one another as I press up. Ready and begin. Control the way down, and that narrow press is those elbows staying tight and into the body, so they're not flaring out. So as their dumbbells are coming down, that upper arm is like rubbing up against my sides. Also too, you don't wanna bounce your triceps up off of the ground, so just barely give them a little tap, or a little brush and then right back up. And you're feeling that isometric contraction in your backside, working your hamstrings and your glutes. If you start to feel your quadriceps or thighs take over, well, then you need to move those heels closer to your glutes. Not much left. Five more seconds. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right. We're gonna give our upper body a bit of a rest here, and we're gonna move into a dumbbell front curled one and a quarter squat. We need one dumbbell for this next exercise. We are going to put that one dumbbell in this front curled position, almost like a rack position. Feet are hip width apart. We can either place that opposite arm straight out to our side or on the hip. It's a preference for you. I'm gonna sit back, weight in my hips, full squat. Come all the way up and then down a quarter of the way, back up. So that's one and a quarter. Yes. Ready? I'm ready. Let's hit it. Let's do it. Down, up, quarter of the way down, back up. Every time we squat, we're breaking at those hips first. Hips and then knees. So that full squat is really working everything, your glutes, hamstrings, quadriceps. But that extra quarter squat is focusing on those quadriceps. We're gonna switch hands now. Same move. Ooh, let's go. Keep it moving and go. Keeping that core braced throughout. We don't want a loose core here. And our core is working extra overtime to maintain stability while holding this dumbbell in an offset position. Not much, not much left. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice okay, way. let's give those legs a break now. And we're gonna move into a high plank walkout. So I'm gonna start on a high plank, in a high plank position also known as a push-up position. And I'm actually gonna do the high plank from my knees. Now we're going to perform a walkout. So we're actually gonna walk our hands out as far as you can while keeping that core tight and back straight, then walk back to center. Ooh. You decide if it's better, more appropriate for you to be on your feet or on your knees here. Yes. We're gonna blast that core with this one. For sure. Ready, and begin. 45 seconds, let's do it. And walking it back. You don't want your butt up in the air and you don't want your butt down slouching either. We're gonna do the best that we can. Keep the oxygen flowing and do not hold your breath. No. So tempting to hold your breath when we're up in these high plank positions, but you will pay for it. Ooh. And if you start with the harder variation and you need to switch to your knees, that's fine. Start with the easier version, it's too easy. You need to make it harder, that's fine. Make it work for you. You guys, Not much we have left. five more seconds. Three, two, one, zero. Excellent job. Next up, we have an Olympic lifting inspired movement for you. Ooh. We're gonna do a dumbbell high snatch pull. We need two dumbbells. So we're gonna really work that posterior chain and upper back, glutes, hamstrings. Starting with our feet shoulder width apart, our palms are facing us. A little bend in our knees to start. We're gonna hinge at our hips, back stays straight. 
almost like we're pushing that butt to the wall behind us. Now we're gonna explode those hips forward as I bring my elbows up and come up onto the balls of my feet. Ooh. So head stays straight. Boom, big power, bringing those elbows straight up. Almost like we're getting ready to pull them over, but we're gonna stop just short. Yes. Here we go, 45 seconds. Ready, begin, hinge, big power up. So you're exploding those hips forward. Keep that core tight and engaged. You're gonna give a big exhale as you bring those hips up and those dumbbells and elbows up. This one's all about that power, exploding straight up. Almost like you're getting ready to jump as you explode onto those balls of your feet. Head stays in line with that spine, loading those hips on every repetition. Last 10 seconds. Come on, push through it. Inhale, exhale on the way up. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. Ah, next Ooh. up, we're gonna work on those shoulders with a half kneeling dumbbell shoulder press. Actually, I'll keep the same weight, what the heck. We are gonna move into a half kneeling position. So up on one knee, both knees are at a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna bring those dumbbells up and my elbows are in on a 45 degree angle. So not here, but here, Core 45 is degree. tight, get it tight there. Now keep it tight, pressing up, controlling the way down with those elbows staying on that 45 degree angle. Ready? Yes. Let's begin. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Such a great one for your core and shoulders. And triceps are working here as well. Oh yeah. Again, keep that core braced and tight. We don't want it to be loose. Switching in five, four, three, two, one, switch. Okay, same move. Just switching which knee is up and begin. Again, core stays tight here. Pushing through, come on. You got it. Try not to lean back or roll forward. Oh my goodness. If you need to switch up your weight, feel free to do so. Not much left. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, let's give those shoulders a much needed break. And we're gonna move to the floor and work on our core, lying on our backs. I'm gonna perform a lying leg raise. I'm gonna do a lying knee raise. I'm gonna keep my lower back glued to the floor, and if it helps you, you can place your hands under your lower back. Legs straight out to start. I'm gonna keep my legs straight as I raise them all the way up and back down. Notice I'm bringing my knees tabletop. You can either stop here and return, or you can take a little rest in between and bring your knees back up. You decide what works for you, but we're moving and let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Again, keep that lower back glued to the floor. We don't want a big arch on every repetition or any repetition. Definitely not. Control your breathing. Breathing using those abdominal muscles and that diaphragm, not just your chest. Inhale and down. Exhale as you bring them back up. Again, focusing on not allowing that lower back to arch. You want to keep that back safe and healthy. Oh yeah, and 10 more seconds. Come on, tribe. So close, come on. Finishing strong here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ah, excellent. We're gonna work on our lower body next with a dumbbell sumo deadlift. Most of you are gonna need a couple of heavier dumbbells for this one, depending on your lower body strength. We need our feet wide on this one with our toes pointed out ever so slightly. That's that sumo stance. Dumbbells are in front, good posture here. We're gonna break at those hips first, then the knees, sit back and back up. Keeping those shoulders retracted throughout the move. Mm -hmm. 45 seconds. We're ready. And begin. Again, sitting back every time. Don't turn this into like a stiff leg deadlift where you're bending over, but you're sitting down, like you're sitting back into a chair. And that's why I like that, uh, that verbal cue of hips first, then knees. Helps make sure you're sitting back. 
Back stay straight. Inhale. Inhale. Here you go. Inhale down. Exhale when you come up. There it is. Coming up through the midfoot. Almost there. Almost there. Drive through it. Working those hamstrings, quadriceps, glutes, and back. Five more seconds. Let's do this. Come on. Almost there. Three, two, one. Break. Ah, all right. We set our heavier dumbbells down. Next, we're going to move into a dumbbell Zotman curl. So that one's working multiple muscle groups. This next one's just focusing on our arms and forearms. So we're going to need a lighter weight, a dumbbell Zotman curl. Palms are facing forward to start. Good posture, shoulders back. Curl all the way up. Twist those palms. Palms are facing down. Control the way down. Yes. So up on the way up, down on the way down. 45 seconds and begin. You know, feel those arms working on this one. Keep a nice, slight bend in those knees. Again, pelvis directly under the rib cage for good posture. Inhale up. Exhale as you slowly drop those dumbbells. Contro under control. That's it. Especially the way down. That's how, well, actually both. You know, we get tempted to use momentum on the way up and then drop them on the way down. No we momentum. don't want to do either. No. This one's working both bicep heads. You actually have two separate muscles that make up your biceps, hence the name bi in the set. And then also working your forearms and grip. Ooh. And we're feeling and working here. In three, two, one, and break. Okay, a couple of heavier dumbbells for the next one. We're gonna move into a dumbbell bent over row. Two dumbbells needed. Working on that upper, those upper back muscles. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to put our weight back on our hips, hinging at a 45 degree angle. Shoulders stay retracted, so we're not here, but here. And then pulling back from those elbows, full range of motion. 45 seconds. Woo wee. And let's do it. Big in, come on. And let those elbows lead the way. That's your cue. So not pulling back from the hands, pulling back from the elbow. So important. Keeping your head in line with your spine. Yeah. Inhale down, exhale as you bring those elbows up. And core stays tight oh, throughout yeah. the whole move. That means it's like a, we're pressing out on our whole core, 360 degrees, like you're filling up a, ba a balloon in your stomach, sides and back. No loosey goosey here. No loosey goosey. Come on. Come on, you have about Eight more seconds. That's it. Finishing strong here. One rep in the next. Three, Three. two, one, break. Ah, excellent job. Next up, we have a challenging push-up variation for you. It's a push-up plus a pause. I'm going to do mine from the floor. Notice I have my trusty bench again. Again, if you don't have a bench, you can use a countertop, a wall, a couch, whatever is going to help you get good form here. So our hands are going to be just a little bit wider than our chest. Our elbows are going to be on a 45 degree angle as we come down. We're going to go one 1,000 paws at the bottom and then come up. So every repetition, it's kind of like that reverse lunge we did at the beginning. It's going to get that, uh, just that little pause at the bottom. Yes. Ready and begin. Down, one 1,000, up. You decide which variation is appropriate for you. If you start down on the floor and you, you need to make it a little easier, feel free to go on up to a couch, a countertop, or a bench. If the version on the floor is too easy for you, maybe you're awesome at push-ups, you can always elevate your feet. Again, focus on form. It doesn't matter. Nobody's watching you. Do whatever's gonna help you maintain the best form throughout this entire movement. Yeah, and stay injury free too. That's another reason. Oh yeah. Both results and to prevent injuries. Two reasons why we need proper form. There is not much time left. You have about six seconds. So close. Come on, finish it strong, Three, folks. Three, two, one, break. All, All right. right. Moving on to our feet and we need one dumbbell. We're gonna perform a lateral lunge, maybe a lighter to a moderate weight for this one or no weight at all, depending on how you're feeling at this point in the workout. For sure. I'm gonna have my dumbbell in my right hand. I'm gonna step, big step to my left side, dropping that weight back on my hips and back up. So when you go down, if you're about right here, only about a quarter of a squat down, that's fine. Do what works best for you. Yeah, depending on your mobility yep. level. Okay, we're half and half on each side. 
Ready, begin. So sit back with that weight in your hips, that inside leg stays straight, that outside lead leg, that knee goes out as we sit back. Like you're gonna sit back into a chair. Great unilateral exercise. Each leg working independently. Switching in three, two, one, break. Switch sides. All right, weight in opposite hand, begin. Again, keeping good posture. We don't want to turn this into just bending all the way over. The head and chest up. As Ooh. we sit back, working really that whole lower body here. Inhale. Exhale when you come back up. Five more seconds. Let's do this. Three, two, one, break. Okay. We can set that. Uh, probably that one dumbbell down because we need to go light for this next one. Oh, yeah. We're going to do a straight arm reverse fly. If you haven't done this exercise before, start light. Always easier to start light and work your way up. Feet are shoulder width apart, hinging at those hips, 45 degree angle on the back, shoulders retracted, arms are straight, palms facing one another. Now, straight arms, bring those dumbbells up, squeeze the middle of your back, and return back down. 45 seconds, here we go. And begin. It's a great one for our rotator cuffs, our rear deltoids, our rhomboids, all those little secondary back muscles. And it does not take much weight to fire those up. No, it doesn't. So if you need to make an adjustment right now, drop those heavy weights, and move to something lighter. Focus on controlling that way down. I know the temptation is just to boom, Boom, don't do that. Don't do it. No momentum here at all. Everything is under control. So close to the end, come on. You Fighting got 10 through. more seconds, come on. Pushing through, come on. Dig deep pass for tribe for five. five. Four, three, two, one, and break. Ah, burn so good. No dumbbells for this next one. We're gonna work on our core with a high plank knee up and in. I'm gonna do mine again from the floor. I'm gonna do mine again from the bench. So we're in that high plank position. We've spent some time in today. Core is tight to start with. I'm gonna bring my right knee up and then twist it in and across my body and return it, alternating left and right sides. Holding that high plank position throughout. Oh, yeah. 45 seconds. Come on, let's blow up that core. Ready? <laughs> and begin. That whole time that core is tight and braced. We don't ever want to let that core be loose. So again, it's like we're bracing or pressing out on that core all the way around, really engaging it. Temptation here is to just allow it to be loose. And then you're kind of like, well, this is what, a shoulder exercise? No. I mean, yes, we are working some shoulders too, but we want that core tight throughout the whole move. Again, breathing here, focusing on not holding your breath. Oh my goodness. Exhale as you twist. It's working here, folks. We're feeling it too. You're not alone, Hasfit Tribe. Not much left. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. Ah, I'm feeling that one. Oh yeah. We need two dumbbells now. We're gonna do a, a isolation exercise for our triceps, a lying dumbbell tricep extension. Two dumbbells for this one. We're moving to the floor, to our backs. And if you want the, the safe textbook way to get them up, we can put them on our legs and then we can sit back. Yep. Feet are down. Sorry, my arms straight up. Now, I'm only gonna bend at my elbows. The rest of my arm stays put. And then extend. So just focusing on that tricep, that big muscle in the back of your arm. Ready and begin. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Your elbow should be pointing to the sky the whole time, not moving. Really again, controlling the way down and the way up. Working at a pace that's comfortable for you. Again, focusing on form. Palms are facing in. After 45 seconds, your triceps are really gonna be lit up. I like it. Light me up, baby, come on. <laughs> One in the next here. You don't have much time left. You got actually five more seconds. Five, four, three, 
two, one, and break. All right. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna okay. let those triceps breathe for a minute. And we're gonna work on our lower body with a dumbbell squat and kick. We need two dumbbells. I'm gonna go a little heavier on this one. So depending on what your lower body has left in this point of the workout, you can make your determination what weight's appropriate for you here. Feeling a little bit fatigued all over. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep the same weight and that's okay. <sighs> Only you can judge where you're at right now. Our feet are gonna be uh, hip width apart. We're gonna sit back, weight in our hips, full range of motion squat. Now, as I come up, I'm gonna kick. Sit back, as I come up, I'm gonna kick. Depending on your balance, right. you may come all the way up and then kick. You decide when you wanna engage that kick. That's right. 45 seconds. Let's Ready. do it. Begin, head up, chest up. Sitting back, breathe on the way down, or inhale on the way down, I should say. <laughs> Exhale on the way up. See, even we're a little loopy at this point of the, oh, yeah. of the workout. Do the best that you can. Keep those feet flat. Don't be falling forward onto your toes or falling back onto your heels. That's right, this mid This is foot. it right here. Pushing through midfoot. Right to the very end. What do you got left, Hasfit Tribe? Pushing through right here, come on. Right here, right now. What brought you here today? That's what's gonna be this, this, that little factor that's gonna get you through to the end. Oh. What's that why? 10 seconds, come on. Right to the end, push, push, push. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yes. Ah. Yes. That's it. It's over. It burns so good. Man, I am spent. I am I'm <laughs> feeling it. All right. Let's work on a little restoration work for our bodies next with a cool down. We're going to allow that heart rate to come down slowly and get some mobility work in that'll hopefully relieve some of that soreness over the next couple of days. Let's make our way on over to a wall, a door, just something flat we can put our backs up against. And we're gonna perform a wall overhead extension plus angel. Let's start by getting everything on that wall from your head, shoulders, upper back, down to your glutes, best that you can. Palms are on that wall to start. Overhead extension, bring those arms straight up overhead all the way and then drag those hands and elbows down. It's not gonna look pretty. Doesn't look pretty <laughs> for us either. Then back up and then down. These are always the prettiest faces. Especially after a workout. Oh man. So arms overhead, that's that extension. Oh, stretch it. And then angel, hands and elbows down. I look like anything but an angel right now. Uh, stand overhead and then back down. Just taking that upper body through its full range of motion here. This is the ideal. Maybe your hands can't even touch the wall. Maybe you're much better at it, this than I am. Just doing the best you can, whatever that looks like, and you will see the results and the improvement from it. Last one, overhead. Try and keep everything flat on that wall. Feel that stretch. Shoulders got a lot of work in today. Overhead and Oh my relax. goodness. Okay. That was difficult. Oh, it was. Well, like I said, we got a lot of shoulder work in today. Let's move to the floor, work on our hips, which also got a lot of work in today. Everything did. Again, we said full body hit workout. We meant it. So let's go ahead and open those legs 90 90 uh, here in the middle. And I'm going to rotate to my left side. Both knees stay at a 90. If you immediately start to cramp, go ahead and come on back. It'll relieve some of that pressure. If you feel good right here, feel a good stretch in those hips, you can stay here. If you want more, hey, Coach Kozak, that's not doing anything. Bring that opposite side shoulder to that knee and hold here. So give you plenty of tools to work with. You decide which level you're at for your mobility and just for this point in the day. If you did big deep breaths here, opening up those hips, glutes, and come on up back to middle. So now let's rotate to the opposite side. And one side could certainly be tight compared to the other. So Holy be ready for that. Smokes. Holy smokes. You I think that's. You called it. Oh, called it. Do you ever feel like Coach Kozak is just inside of your head and he knows exactly what you're thinking before you say it? Oh, man. Don't open up that can of worms. <laughs> 
go ahead and breathe here. Uh, I think that's just called experience, folks. Yes, been, for sure. You know, over 20 years of doing this, you you just start to you just, know you just, a few things. You I guess. just know. You know, yeah. you know the human body real well. So. All right, coming on back up to middle. Very good. Okay, now let's extend those legs straight, getting them in the V sit position. Good upright posture. However far you can spread those legs. Maybe you're a gymnast and your legs are whoop. Or maybe you're more like this. Whatever it is, do the best that you can. Keep those knees down the best that you can. And now I want you to bring those fingers out. I'm and done. And reach in the middle. <laughs> and that's it. And, and I'm already cramping. And I'm done. Uh, I was doing this with my five-year-old last night. We were training together. And he... He definitely does not like this one like, no, at all. It's uncomfortable. He was almost in tears. And I, he, was, he wasn't even, his range of motion was about as good as mine. And he was like, nah, I'm done. And maybe <laughs> you start feeling a little better here, hanging out here. You kind of inch your way out a little more. Big, De deep breaths. Definitely well, gets easier. You know, that's, that's life, right? Things that are uncomfortable are often th the things that we need the most. Mm -hmm. So you got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable big deep That's breaths old, here old school coach kozakism some old old school 20 years three <laughs> two one zero man actually it's been longer than 20 years it's been more like 26 i'm old folks <laughs> on your feet we are done so you're saying you've been training since you were 10. I, <laughs> close to it close nice close. work out there and one of the things that will help you stay on the wagon, so to speak, and not fall off and to be held accountable is following a complete exercise program. We have those for you, whether your goal is to lose weight, gain muscle, just become the best you you can be, whatever it is, we have those for you. Where, Claudia? You can find those full length programs on the HasFit app, which can be downloaded to an Android or to an Apple device. If you wanna help support us, you can also do so by picking up some gear like a fresh new HasFit t-shirt right. or our diet guide eating for life. Don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. Until next time, I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.